What's going on guys, Blinkfro here, and today I'm bringing you the much anticipated College Hoops 2K8 video. This is going to be the Rutgers Scarlet Knights versus the number 6 ranked Florida Gators. They are 2-0, and we are 1-1 on the season. Uh, we lost our very first game of the season, that was when I was getting used to the like the gameplay and all that, and then we won the second game by a lot. Um, if you saw the schedule, I don't know if I showed it on the schedule. But here we go, this is at Florida. Like I said, they are the 6th ranked team, so this is going to be pretty difficult. And Florida is a pretty good school, um, if you could tell by the ranking, and since in real life they are good, uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty good. Uh, so they started off the game on fire, basically. I think that was two fouls, which also led to an and one, and they drained it. So they go up early 10-0, uh, only two and a half minutes into the game. But we're coming back with Mac, Mac Attack. Uh, he is my favorite player on Rutgers. I believe he is a freshman. And Randall, our center, is my second favorite player, and I also believe he is a freshman. Correct me if I'm wrong, because uh, I don't watch college basketball. I just know off from this game. But we are coming back. A nice dunk there by Coney or Cone, however you want to say his name. Unlike, you know, he's not like that guy that everyone's been campaigning against. Coney, 2012, whatever, however you say his name. But we're going to get an and one there. We're going to drain the free throw, cutting the lead down to six. And this is where Florida would just kind of go insane. They hit a three-pointer there. Uh, a couple plays later, a couple possessions later, they hit another three-pointer there because uh, it was goaltending. I guess it was going to go in anyways because most of the time they call goaltending it just going to go in anyways. They hit three three-pointers in a row, bringing them up by 12 points. And Walker's got the ball here, driving to the lane. He is going to drain that layup, and they are up by 14 early in the first. And Boynton, he's going to hit a three-pointer there, bringing them up by 15 points. I was like, all right, this is getting a little ridiculous. Actually, I think that was 17 points. So we're giving it to Mac. Mac attack. He's going to drain a three-pointer. That is his first three of the game. He has five points on the game. And look at this deep three by Florida. They were just going insane with three-pointers in the first half. I wasn't too sure on how to defend them. There's another three by Mac. I was running the 2-3 zone, I was running 3-2, I was running man-to-man, -man. I didn't know what to do. Here's Mac hitting another 3, I think that's like 3 in a row for him, or something like that. Uh, but Florida, they just won't give up, they're just going to keep attacking us. Rosario is a really good player, and Boynton's a really good player on their team. Like I said, I don't watch college basketball in real life, so I'm just basing my opinions off this game. So I'm probably wrong, a bunch of you guys are Florida fans, I'm assuming, like, I'm sure a bunch of you guys, yeah, watch college basketball and you're like, what are you talking about, like, blah, 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 yeah, you guys talk like that, no, I'm just kidding, uh, but there's a nice block by Randall, my favorite, second favorite player on the team, the team, wow, I said that weird, and Poole's going to go down the field, down the court, I should say, and get a layup, and then he, later he's going to get a jump shot there, miss it, Randall's going to get the offensive rebound twice, and he's going to lay it in, bringing us down by seven points, and then we're going to hit a three with pool there, bringing us down 36 to 42. Later in the game, we are down by 10. Max got the ball. We're trying to call the pick and roll. And we pass it to our power forward there. He's going to jam it down. And we'll take a look at that replay. The pick and roll in this game is really ineffective, I should say. Um, I don't know why I showed. Oh, yeah, because this is the end of the half. Uh, we get fouled and we drain both free throws. But the pick and roll is really ineffective because. If you guys play NBA 2K11 and 2K12, I think it's in 2K11. Like, your guy will actually cause a pick and the guys have to run around it. In this game, they just stand in their way and, like, no bump animation happens. They just are in their way and it's really annoying. It's very ineffective. A lot of things about this game are very outdated since it's 2K8. And since then, they've had 2K9, 10, 11, and 12. So there's four years worth of games uh, development not in this game. Um, but... You know, that's kind of, you can't really help it since this is the last College Hoops games they've made. Uh, but right into the second quarter, Florida is going, or I should say the second half, Florida is just getting into it. They're scoring baskets upon baskets, and they're going to go up by 20 points there. I believe they're going to go up by 22 points after a layup by Rosario. Like I said, he was on fire this game. So we were down by 22 points. But we are not giving up. We want to come back. We want to beat a ranked team. And I always think those dunks are funny because they jump way away from the basket. And then they, like, like stick to, like, I don't know. They, like, float towards the basket. It's, like, physically impossible. I don't even know. Uh, but this game's pretty fun overall. Uh, there's not much you could do play-wise. I've tried a bunch of plays. They don't work too well. I don't know if it's just Rutgers plays. So you have to pass the ball around and just try to find an open man. 
which is basically what college basketball is. <laughs> uh, just, you know, the teams spend forever just passing the ball around until someone decides to commit to a double team and leave someone open. But you're going to see we got an offensive rebound there with Johnson. Cutting the lead to 8. Max going to hit a jumper there. Nice mid-range. I think he's got 17 points on the game so far. But Florida, they just, whenever we would get on a streak, they would just keep going. Boynton's going to hit a, uh, oh, actually, he's going to miss the jump shot there. We're going down the court, and we're going to hit it to our power forward, Johnson. I feel like I'm using, like, football terms when I say, like, going down the field and hitting them. And I don't even know. I'm so used to doing my Seahawks videos. But Seagears, he's going to hit a mid-ranger there. Uh, we're only going to be down by four. Now we're only down by two, and we're going to hit Seagears here. He's going to dunk it in for the tie game, 72-72. Uh, but Florida's going to go ahead and score, put him back up by two. Um, and now we're going to hit a three-pointer here with Miller, our small forward, and that's going to give us our very first lead of the entire game with four minutes left to go in the game about uh, Baruta, or however you pronounce his name. He's going to miss the layup there. Their team is on fire now. The crowd is pumped. Their team is pumped. Walker is going to hit an early dagger-ish uh, basket bringing us down by four it seems like in college basketball if you're down by five points it's almost the same as being down by 10 points in the nba because uh, baskets i seem i like towards the end of games it seems like in college basketball baskets count a lot more than bas like the nba because in the nba players are really talented and they could just easily make a basket if they want to whereas college basketball it's almost an even playing field like not everyone's amazing so it's a lot harder to score baskets. But you're going to see we're down by one here. There's only 30 seconds left in the game. Rosario with a nice layup, bringing them up by three. And we got to hit a three-pointer. We got to score a quick basket or something. So Max got the ball. I was thinking about taking a three-pointer with Mac, but I decided we didn't need to. I should have passed it back to Mac there. He was open from downtown. He was th hitting threes all game. And by the time I decided to take a three, it's too late. We get blocked. They hit both free throws. We go for another three with Mac. I should have put it right back up with Miller. But instead, we pass it out. They steal it. Uh, they hit another two free throws. We're down by six. And with only like a couple seconds left in the game, we hit a three with Carter. So we lose by three points, 90 to 87 against the Florida Gators. And I'm going to have to decrease the minutes because I have it on 20-minute halves. I'm going to decrease it to 15-minute halves. And the next game I'm going to be showing is versus Wisconsin. I believe I'm going to be uploading that to Missionama Sports this week. I just got to work on that video. But Rosario was player of the game. You're going to see we shot almost 48% from the field. They shot almost 50% from the field. We were 58% from downtown while they were only 30. They weren't hitting three-pointers in the ha second half. And I forgot to mention, I switched to the 1-3-1 uh, defensive scheme, and it worked a lot better. Um, but there's, like, the team stats. Here's their stats. Walker had 24 points and 10 assists. Rosario had 25 points on 9 of 11 shooting, 1 of 2 from downtown. Walker was 4 of 9 from downtown. Just insane. Mac, 8 of 18, 3 of 7 from downtown. Seagears, 4 of 10. We didn't really have the best shooting nights, but that's going to wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, thank you for watching, and tune in next time.